banter between fans. Check this out. Text that's come in. New United manager, by the way, he's a Liverpool and West Ham reject. We had a look at him in the summer. Didn't fancy him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, that was that that reject chat. Right. It gets right. Listen, I remember when I was when I was a player back in the day, right? Mm. And then I'll be um, I'll be warming up on the side, and then a certain team will go. They'll shout then the their team go like say Chelsea, Chelsea reject, Chelsea reject. Oy, oy, oy. I'm like, oh mate, it hurts. You know when you get told you're a reject. <laughs> So I'm feeling it for like people are just gonna say that all the time. Of course you a, you're just a reject. That's it, man. Yeah, we didn't Le- want you. Liverpool- we, we interviewed you. Yeah. Didn't want you. Didn't Le- fancy it. That's it. Liverpool had a look at you. Said no. No. Nah. West Ham had a look at you. <laughs> oh, said no. No, no, no. That's the worst one. Listen, we're spitting facts, man. Yeah. You flew the guy into London. Yeah, we did private jet. Not for us. No, nah, we're not doing that. He's off to Man United. Yeah. West Ham reject. Well, well done. I'm only messing. <laughs> um, 03717223344. Um, this is obviously open to Manchester United fans. It's it's, it's a difficult time in it. You, man loses his job, mm-hmm. new guy comes in. All you want as a, as a fan is your team to be performing to a certain level. Of course, you want them to win. You want them to be competing for trophies. You want them to be winning trophies. That's not always the 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 thing that can you, can be guaranteed. But what you want to be guaranteed is performance levels. Mm-hmm. Uh, so get in contact with the show and let's talk about this new appointment. Lewis, how are you, mate? You good? How are we doing, boys? We're yeah, good, man. Where's your head at with all this, Lewis, this week? Colton, just quickly, I bet you're still buzzing after beating United last weekend, mate. Oh, mate. I bet you are as well. You've got a new gaffer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 listen, listen, I, I, am, I am buzzing. Isn't it ironic, the bubble burst, the Ten Hag bubble burst at West Ham? There you go, right? mate. Uh, uh, mate, you know, I, was, I was so happy that you beat us because I wanted... Ten had gone. I've been on the station many, many times in the last sort of ten months since we finished bottom of the Champions League group. That for me was the end. Um, that's where it, that was a sack of war offence, and he sort of survived, didn't he? he kept mm. surviving, um, and finally he's gone. He should have gone in the summer. That was the, the right time for this new bald um, Ratcliffe to have said, "Right, Eric, thanks for the FA Cup. Right, there's a few quid. Off you go. We've got a new manager coming." But they, they let it drag on, and finally went last uh, this week. He, he, he was a good cup manager, Ten Hag, but he wasn't up to the job for league and European success. So I thank him for the league cut FA Cup, but he had to go. And I, now I, I'm excited with Hammering. Um, he's the new up-and-coming sort of style manager, young, plays attractive football. Mm. I'm not going to get my hopes up yet, just yet, because I have heard this when Ten Hag turned up, that he was going to play attractive football, he was going to be the new genius, you know, who's going to get us back to winning the league. But well, I mean, obviously, look what happened there in the last two and a half years. So I'm going to just hold my reservations a little bit. Listen, I'll be honest with you guys, I would have preferred an Angelotti if he was available, or a Thomas Tuchel, or a Hansi Flick. But we've missed out on two of those, and obviously Angelotti's not available. That would have really got me excited, because I see them as top, top draw, proven elite Champions League winning managers. But we've gone down this route where we're in. We'll give him a chance. He might be the man. He might be. Uh, and I'm glad Root's getting a little bit of, you know, time in the sun. Uh, four games he's going to get, isn't he, after the mm. other night. So he gets his little run out, and he's a legend. And uh, I'm, I'm glad Root gets a little bit of, bit of game time managing us. Um, but Amarin, yeah, he comes in, got a decent fixture list when he starts. He gets switch away his first game. So a nice, easy sort of win, hopefully, there for him to get him underway. But I'll tell you what I want to see, guys. I, I'm fed up of seeing players being played out of position. I, uh, Ten Hag did it all the time. He got his favourites in there by shoehorning them in, out of position. Several matches, he did it again this season. He did it countless times last season. Get players playing in their strongest positions and, and, and to get the style of football. We still didn't see a style of football under Ten Hag, did we, after two and a half years? That's so, fair. you know, for me, being off Rashford, he's got to go. It, I, uh, Colton, I said, I heard you say he can play up top. We've seen him try and play up top n- many times. He can't hold up play, but it depends how you deploy him. If he's playing if he's playing on the shoulder, if he's playing on the shoulder, not back to goal, then I'll have him up front. But if he's if he's not if it's not deployed like that, then there's no point. But he's, he's, 
for me, he's, his best position is, is on the left, isn't it? But mm. Ganacho for me, his better player, I would have Ganacho on the left. Tanag played him on the right quite a lot of times because he wanted Rashford on the left. Mm. And then Ganacho's out of position, he, we don't see the best from him. You can't play Fernandez on the right either. He's in the middle, mm. you know? So you, you've got to get this formation right. Uh, 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 and then get that style of play. Well, the formation is going to be four three, four, three, three, four, three, right? That's the yeah, that's yeah, the. Yeah, so you got to you got to say there you go. That's the formation. Now, exactly. who do you put in those in that shape? That's the problem. Exactly, exactly. He's got to work that out quickly. You know, if we got him in in the summer, he could have had a pre-season and worked this out. But he's got to work it out straight away playing competitive football. So you know, hopefully he'll get this right. He's got two and a half years. Give him time. He's going to need a two or three windows to get some players in and out. There's still some dead wood in the, on the, in the squad there mm. and some players who are not good enough who need to be moved on. Um, and then he'll obviously want to bring in a few faces of his own. I'm sure there'll be some money available for him, especially in the summer. So we'll give him time. But he could be the one. You know, obviously, Liverpool were linked to him. Man City, his rumours, he may have came in after Pep, um, whenever Pep goes. Um, so, you know, and Chelsea were looking at him as well, weren't they? So he's definitely one who, who was being looked upon by the other big clubs in England. But United, we're still a long way off this season. You never know. We're not looking great at the moment, obviously, where we are in the Europe, uh, Europe, Europa League and the Premier League tables. But still a long way to go in the mm. season. I, I'm not going to give up hope on, you know, top six, top mm. seven in the league and maybe a cup. You know, we've still got all the cups to go for, haven't we, you know? Yeah. So it still could be a decent season for United and then uh, have a bit of a clear out in the summer, a few faces in the next season, you know, mm. if he clicks. We've seen managers come in other clubs and click straight away. Look at Emery, look what he's doing at Villa. You know, mm. it, it can be done, a very short turnaround, quick fix. It doesn't have to take four or five years to, to implement no, the of play mm. and get results. So, you know, I'm very happy. Ten had gone... You know, I'm, I'm buzzing like most United fans this week have been on talks and saying, yeah, they're happy. Now I'm happy. They didn't mess around United here. They got their man. They knew who they wanted. They didn't mess about like they have in the past when we brought in Zay Ranić for six months, you know, because they didn't know who they wanted. They clearly wanted Amarim last week and then got him in. No messing around. Top man, Lewis. Thank you very, thank you very much man. for uh, getting in contact with you. Yeah, he's got some good points there. Um, but still didn't answer my question in what, in what way who are the players to play in that 3 4 five? I don't see a lot of players I don't think anybody can answer that right now I just don't see it because he was what 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 Lewis was just saying there he was saying I'll give you one guarantee on Nana <laughs> yeah yeah he's in goal but what he was saying he doesn't want, he, he saw Ten Hag shoehorning players in to yeah and maybe that's going to have to happen at the start of his tenure. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because <clears throat> he's got to have to go and get his own players that's going to fit I his think, style. Do you know something? When you look, let's compare this, right? Because this is starting to look... Football's a secular thing. Manchester United dominated football for such a long, long period of time. Very similar to what Liverpool did in the 80s and early 90s, right? And then Liverpool go for 30 and a bit years without winning a league. Mm -hmm. It could very happen. That exact same thing could happen to Manchester United. Mm -hmm. When Klopp came in and he became the revolution because they'd sorted the infrastructure out of the club, Klopp comes in and he's the final piece of the jigsaw. Yep. You look at his first ever team that he put out on the pitch compared to the team that then actually won trophies for him. I think he had about oh, one totally or two different. players yeah. and the rest of them just got binned. And, that, how, but, and, how, and what was the turnaround on that? That was like a, two, a year and Two, half? three years, something like that? Two yeah, years, yeah. Two years. So they all went. Yeah. He kept two lads mm -hmm. and the rest of them went. I think you're going to see a very similar thing with Manchester United. With all due respect, I look at these Manchester United players mm -hmm. and many people might argue that it's about coaching, it might be about system, it might be about this and that. There's not a lot of them players. For example, if you were to look at the, the top six right now, City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Villa, Chelsea, Brighton, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that top six. Look at that Manchester United squad list. Look at those Manchester United players. How many of them would Manchester City take? I don't think City would take any of them. I don't think Liverpool would take any of them. Arsenal, would they take any of them? I don't think they would. Villa, they might look at one or two. Chelsea might look at one or two. Brighton might look at one or two. One or two of them. Mm. That's it. Yeah. That's it. So I think 
This man, whatever he, his first team is on November, when uh, his, his first game Luke against Shaw, I think Luke Shaw, if fit, gets into him. Yeah, but if fit, yeah, he's yeah. always injured, mate. Yeah. This guy's not. Listen, he's going to look at this and he's going to go right. We're going Magu- in this even direction. Even Maguire, Maguire as well. But he's going to look at this in the direction we're going, we're working towards two years or three years. That's what we're working towards. I need to get rid of all of this. We're going to work with it for now, like Klopp did when he came into Liverpool. We're going to work with it because rock and roll football or heavy metal football, whatever he called it. That wasn't the first game when they played against Tottenham in that first game. Mm-hmm. That came later. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be one of those periods where you're going to have to yeah. watch a bit of disaster first before of course. He, he, he can do his thing. Of course. Because, like, look, as he said, the last caller. So who will still be there? Yeah, there's one for you. Yeah. Out of the current crop, who still will be still be there? Who Predict now, out of these Manchester United players... Ugarte. Who, would, who will M- still Maguire. be in? Maguire, Ugarte... Because Mar- um, Maguire, arguably, he had his three. best time playing in a back three. Okay. that's I, He looks more at strength in the, when he's got that. Okay. Yeah. Um, you got he's going to have to be there. Delit's going to have to be there because they've just bought him. What do you mean have to be? They've I'm, just bought I'm, him. Forget just, that. Forget that. This is a new <laughs> guy. Him, the new guy's going to come in and he's going to go, okay, if we're going to compete, for, when they when they will compete for a league at some point, Manchester United over the next let's say ten. years. I don't think so. <laughs> over the next ten years, ten years. Do you reckon? Like, well, depends who's at the helm of uh, Man City. If it's if it's not Pep, then maybe not. Do you know what I mean? I'm so, I'm talking compete for. Oh, compete! Oh, I thought you said win. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, okay, no, no, compete okay, for. Okay, okay. To get That's him back different. into top four, like oh, regular yeah, yeah, top yeah, four. Yeah, I misheard you. Sorry. All right, so. Could you could you look at that squad and go maybe four of them will be still here in three years? Kobe Mainu, he can play, right? Garnacho, Garnacho, definitely. Will Rashford still be there? Probably not, but he will have a good two two three years to to prove that he can maybe. So he'll have another couple of years to do. This that. is for Man United fans that you watch him more than us. Get in contact with the show. 03717 As you're looking ahead two, three years down the line. That's Almi, true. It's a Almi, great question. Almi of this lot will still be there a great if question. you're going to be competing at the very top. Look. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.